I watched that little cartoon shine where uh, Inside Out, I got it right. I love Inside Out. Love Inside Out, especially for the, you know what I'm saying, the intellect and the sapiosexual world. We be in there like <laughs> so much in there. I was taking all kinds of notes. But um, I realized that I'm like joy. I don't think any other emotion got a place here. Wait, you're intervening. You're inter you're 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 wrong. You know what I'm saying? You're not in your rightful place because joy is the primary. You know what I'm saying? The the absolute. We the king of kings. You know what I'm saying? The the joy. Meanwhile, if it weren't for fear, if it weren't for um, um, if it wasn't for fear, if it wasn't for sadness and things like that. There is certain maturity that we wouldn't move through. There's certain um, there's certain experiences we wouldn't even know we can overcome. It wouldn't drive us to have certain passions and things like that if we didn't have it. So this was my least favorite season, but it was the most impactful for me. So it's it like you said, I had to learn how to submit to those feelings too. My God, like seriously, I was like, uh-uh, I don't want to be anything other than happy. Mm -hmm. And that's how we also... Sometimes we have, we have concluded that God's greatest work is being accomplished because we're happy. Mm. Mm. Not realizing that some of God's best work, honey, is, 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 is that positioning of sadness or, or anger, the state of anger. Because the Bible says, be angry, but sin not. So mm -hmm. it's telling you, it's giving a command. Be angry. Just don't say it. That anger may drive you to do something, change something. And if we live in a state of joy where we can be happy and content in all things, it may not drive change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I love that because I think we, we well, I think we're starting to somewhat maybe turn a corner a little bit as far as yes. the mental health piece and yes. things of that nature yes. and allowing yourself to feel because I get a lot of inboxes with people who are in relationships. I guess I'm kind of pivoting a little bit who they're with someone who might've lost a loved one and yes. they don't know how to love that person in that season, or they don't know how to give this person this need. So they're thinking, because they aren't up to par or they're not used to seeing this person like this, how do I navigate this with them? Ooh, that's a whole journey right there. So for me, my partner, he is similar to me in the sense that he thinks, you know, we, we, we are most appreciative of joy. So it was challenging for him to have to renew his mind to see me in the light of where I really was. And the disconnect, believe it or not, from that caused me to feel unsupported. Because you would miss what I really need by seeing me the way you want to see me instead of seeing me where I am. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that I began to write about because like you're saying, some people just don't know how to do life with that. I remember coaching a couple years ago and she had lost her mother and it was time passed and her husband was like, well, I don't understand why we're still here. And it wasn't his exact words. Mm -hmm. He wasn't insensitive about it, mm -hmm. but he was insensitive in action because he wasn't as sensitive. And I remember not having the experience um i mean not not having the the experience yeah and not having the experience of, of the partnership while mourning but i remember telling her just even from family friends and what have you it didn't matter like it is extremely important to be honest with where that person is not where you want them to be mm. and so like you said sitting there listening sometimes may be the value add that may be the win just being able to listen. Sometimes it's the hug. Sometimes it's simply sitting and not rushing off to go do the task that you feel like is pressing for you because your ability to be present means something. You know, there's so many things. It's not one size fit all and every day is not the same shine. And that's also the hard part is that on the days, 
You can feel about bipolar a bit, but it's very normal because our bodies can, it has a capacity, our heart has a capacity to occupy joy and sadness, anger, frustration, and everything all at the same time. Mm -hmm. So when I'm existing in the state of happiness, it may confuse you to think that I'm not sad. So you move through. And then when I have a sad day, you're like, what's wrong with you? Mm-hmm. With the, you know what I'm saying? Not with the, not insensitive, but not as sensitive. Mm-hmm. And so, and I'm looking like, what do you mean what's wrong with me? My sister died. My dad's gone. My mama's gone. It emphasized my mother being gone, losing my my mom, my sister. And then it emphasized my sister in law being gone. It started emphasizing because all in the same span of time I lost the, or in a, um, in a, within a span of time from my mother, I lost like all these other people. And so he just started emphasizing all these losses. And he looking at me like, what's wrong, honey? And I'm like, I'm just having a rough day today. And he's disconnected because he didn't see me happy or exist in a state of happiness for several days, even a week. And then he like, what's wrong today? So it's, 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 um, I would say it would be good to also be flexible, be open, but remain conscious because those moments can pop up at any moment. There are things that trigger that I may not have ever been thinking about. I don't sit there mulling over. You see what I'm saying? My loss. Mm -hmm. But it can trigger certain things. Sound, smell. People tell you that all the time. Certain things can trigger. And next minute you know, it can be a down moment. Or it could be a moment. Mm -hmm. And it's a down moment. So so to, to your point, like, you know, navigating, being with a partner who has suffered some type of loss is challenging. But can I share one more thing? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 